Hello students, today I'll be presenting to you a short tutorial video using GeoGebra software. By the way, this software is free, you can download it for free. And uh, for what is GeoGebra? In here you will learn plotting of points, graphing, the relationship between domain and range, and others relating to functions. So in here you go to your browser and you type www.geogebra org for you to enter to the website okay once you enter to the website you can turn off your data you can turn off connection to the Wi-Fi because this one will go even without data already now click start calculator so in here we are about to enter the graphing um, view already so this one is the XY plane in here you see the input portion of it so there you go these are the tools so if you click this one you are trying to input when you click the other so there you go you can see some um, relevant ideas more on geometry the lines circles yeah, you have angles here so you can try to navigate circles uh, conics parabola hyperbola ellipse and others when you click this one okay so others will exist in this portion now we go to the input part so when you click this one automatic this will exist in your um, screen okay let's say we try to plot a point so we click this one then let's say for example negative one negative two as the coordinates of the points GeoGebra will automatically assign that point coordinates and that will be point a okay so you see it is found in on quadrant three another when we try nine uh, 191 one, so coordinates then uh, when we go here we can try to zoom it out or zoom in let's see so there you go point b is found on quadrant one so that is how easy we do uh, plotting of points using the geogebra software let's say for example again 10 5 and that is c point c 10 5 so there you go that is 10 5 that is plotting of points using geogebra okay now after plotting these points, you can actually hide the points. You see this portion, you can click that. So these points will be hidden already. When you click it again, then the point will exist again. Okay. Now let's say for example, we would like to have a graph of a particular function. Let's say f of x. Oh, let me f of x is equal to 4. So there you go in the graph of a constant function f of x is equal to 4. So when you click that graph, you can change the color that you like. Let's say that, that color, you can uh, highlight it more. So there you go. So that is f of x is equal to 4. That is a horizontal line, right? So what about another function? Let's say g of x is equal to x plus 2. So this uh, blue line here represents linear function g. You can change the color again if you want highlight it again so there you go that is a function g okay let's say a quadratic function mm. h of x is equal to x squared so you can type it here x then that's x squared plus 4 then just click enter and there you go the graph is here a parabola you can you can change the color again for immediate identification let's see what color do you want let's say that is a color okay so that is a parabola you can highlight it again there you go okay you, you can hide the two functions and try to observe the parabola when you click this portion the lowest portion the lowest part of the graph you can see extremum extremum or that means the minimum point the minimum point is zero four and that represents a vertex of, of a parabola now these graphs you try to explore more you do graphing let's say for example you will not name the function you just simply type y is equal to x uh, a cubic function let's say x raised to 3 y is equal to x raised to 3 
Now, GeoGebra will automatically assign the name of the function. It named it P, function P, representing Y is equal to X cubed. So, when we click these first three functions here, the function, the cubic function is here. You observe that function, you can zoom it out and observe what's happening to the function. So, there is a connection upper, lower, and it seems like the function, the graph of the function is infinite. There's no chance that the graph will be divided, will be cut by a particular vertical or horizontal line. So that is a polynomial function, right? Okay. Now, these graphs of functions, by using the GeoGebra, we can visualize immediately because we are referring to the new normal. So we will automatically have the graphing of these functions. Okay. Now, maybe your question is, can we move this graph? Can we change the position of this graph? What if we change the position of this graph? What will happen? You click the graph, then right click, unfix the object, you click this, then you can now move the graph. As I'm moving the graph, observe the equation here on the left side. Isn't it changing? Okay, you observe it, it is actually changing. Right, the, the equation. The understanding here is, since we're changing the position of the graph, it must happen that the function should change, okay? That is understanding. It's like here, when we try to click this parabola, let's say we change the color to make it more visible, let's say that it's in blue. I click the graph, I click fix object for it to be unfixed and I can be able to move it. You try to observe this equation as I move it. Okay, there you go. Now for the stem non-health, this one will be very essential in your pre-calculus just to give you an idea. Changing the position of the parabola will change definitely the equation. So if you observe here, h of x is equal to the square of x plus 10 minus 8. If I click the lowest point of the graph, you see negative 10, negative 8, and that represents the vertex. Because you change your position, then the vertex should change also. Okay, so just like that. So that's how easy we understand uh, the graph using GeoGebra. There are points here, the y-intercept, the root. Okay, what are these? These are the points found on the axis. This point, having these coordinates, is found on the x-axis. Now, the other point having coordinates 0, negative 4 is found in the y-coordinates, okay? Now, if this is the graph of a particular function, your question may be is, how can you able to determine the domain and range of a particular graph? And that will be our next video, okay? So again, you go to www.geogebra.org. You try to download it for free in your Play Store. And you try to explore it, explore and explore. You've got to know more and more as you go to the tools here. Then you've got something to share to your classmates as well. So thank you. See you on the next video.